Hey guys, what's up? It's Richie from New Land Design, aka Bitcoin Dude, and today I want to do a quick GIMP tutorial, and we're just going to do everything inside the uh, the colors menu. And I've got an image here that I uh, took back in 2013. It's a park scene in the winter. Uh, you can download this off my website, or you can use your own image. Uh, this this tutorial will work with any image that you that you want to use. So basically, let's get started. Uh, everything that we're going to do today is going to be done within the colors menu and then I'll probably just do a quick crop and, and be done with it. So go ahead and click on colors and uh, the first thing I like to do is adjust my levels. So I'll go ahead and click on levels and this uh, adjusts the intensity range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you look at input levels here, over in the, uh, the bottom right hand corner of the, uh, the input level, you see some sliders. Just go ahead and drag that over to the, uh, the left a little bit and uh, right to where it starts to curve and you can see it it's just a real subtle contrast and brightness change and then I'm going to do the same thing over on the left I'm going to go ahead and grab the slider to the left slide that over to right, right about where it starts and you can see the contrast immediately pop as you slide that over and once you get it to, to how you like you just go ahead and click OK uh, I'm not going to get too fancy with this for, for the tutorial sake I'm just going to do it real quick and uh, and see how it comes out so there we go there next we're going to go to curves and this is a really cool way of adjusting your brightness and your contrast and again uh, once we get in the window you'll see this the string here and the window is kind of broken into four squares what I do is I put my uh, my little plus sign here my, my crosshairs right in the center of the middle square or the upper right hand corner square and I'll slide that up a little bit and again you can see the brightness kind of change immediately and I'm just gonna go real subtle just just up a little bit um, X 185 and Y uh, 198 or whatever uh, you can again just whatever you like is is how you want to set this and then I'm gonna do the same thing in the uh, bottom left hand corner I'm gonna go right about the center position uh, drag the crosshair down a little bit and again you can immediately see the contrast and everything pop and while you're doing that, you can see the mosses and the trees start to change, uh, the earth tones and the bark of the uh, the trees. Back here, you can see the, the reds from the leaves that are left over and the trees in the background here. And the blue in the water is really, really popped. And uh, the snow is a little over contrasted, which I, I kind of like that. I definitely like a, uh, an over contrast in a, in a lot of my images. So I'll go ahead and click on OK once I get that the way I like it. Again, we'll go back to colors one last time, and this time we're going to adjust our brightness and our contrast. Uh, this just makes a real mild adjustment now. Well, you can go as extreme as you want. I mean, if you kick it all the way over, I mean, that's really contrasted. I mean, that's ridiculous, but for you might have some use for that with some of your projects. But what we're going to do for this tutorial is I'm just going to go, I'll go about an 11, 12. Uh, again, it brings out a lot of the darks within the foliage and stuff like that and for the brightness I want to bring out the shadows and the snow from the from the trees and stuff like that so we're just gonna go down a little bit and you can actually see the shadows and the snow uh, start to come out a little bit more and it also calms down that overexposed look and I'm gonna bring my contrast down just a little bit more too and that should help uh, with the overexposed look of the snow a little bit and then I'll go ahead and click OK and for the most part, I'm going to leave it just like this. Again, you can see the earth tones in the bark, the blue in the in the water has really come out. Um, you've got the shadows and the snow. Uh, I'll go over here to my uh, to my toolbox, and I'm going to click on the rectangle select tool. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the upper uh, left hand corner here, and I'm just going to drag it down, and I'm going to select a, a portion of this image that I really like. Uh, basically all I'm going to do is this little bit of picnic bench right here and the shadow that's that's in the bottom uh, right hand corner I'm going to get rid of that I just don't like the way it looks and I can drag this down a little bit more here and we'll go right there we'll get this this lamp post in because I think that's a nice little addition to it to the image and then we go to image and click on crop to selection and now that just selected that, that section of the uh, image that you liked. And uh, finally, I'm not too crazy about these footprints over here towards the bottom right hand corner. So real quick, I'm just going to use the, uh, the clone tool. 
and I'll click on the clone, clone tool. You can use the healing tool as well, but generally I like to use the clone tool. Uh, let's make our brush size a little bit bigger. I'm going to make my brush size about 87, 89. We'll go about 90 uh, pixels for the brush size. And then what you do is you click on your control button and then uh, left click, and that's going to select the snow over here. And then what we'll do is, as we're going back and forth here, it's just taking the snow from the uh, from the left-hand side here and putting all that into the and covering up these footprints and now the footprints are gone and again you can do this with the, with the healing tool and the rest of the footprints kind of blend into the shadows anyway so once we get rid of that it, it all looks good uh, outside of that I'm pretty happy with my image uh, right now my image is at 3604 pixels by 2360 pixels and to upload that to uh, social media is absolutely ridiculous because you're going to slow down everyone's feed and everything like that. You don't want to do that. So for the final adjustment, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, click on image, click on scale image, and um, for the sake of making this real quick, let's just go down to, uh, you can just type in 640 by uh, go 640 by 419 or whatever you want whatever you decide it's going to be a little bit different depending on how you cropped your image go ahead and click scale and that's it you're done go ahead and view 100% which you don't have to do you can just kind of save it and that's it you're done there's our little park scene we've adjusted the uh, brightness we've adjusted the contrast we brought out the blues in the water uh, brought out our earth tones and our trees uh, oversaturated the uh, the brightness in the in the snow a little bit and outside of that I believe this tutorial is finished you can use this with any image that you have uh, the more images that you play around with the more comfortable you'll get with it and uh, it works really great with different forest scenes uh, if you're out hiking and stuff like that and take all kinds of pictures of the forest it'll really bring out the forest scenes and uh, any landscape or just about any photo that you're using for the most part you can use this so I hope that helped and uh, thanks for watching